Hello there, you've probably heard of Boston Dynamics who make amazing robots that look a bit like dogs in America. But you might not know that there's a chap in the UK who's doing it too. His name's James Bruton and I got to see him at the TCT show. what all the angles should be. So the first three axes that I've shown you in the video that went out on Tuesday, which is part nine of the series, is the three translation axes. So it should be to move the robot in perfectly straight lines. So I twist this stick, it should go up and down. That's about as low as it goes. Obviously we're using button screws here, so they run to an end eventually. But they don't have any backlash, which is why I made that choice. And then we can move forwards slide backwards. There is a slight error which is that the math is right but the robot is wrong until I put bigger feet on with pressure sensors in so it may go into slight slope but eventually it'll be fine. And also we can transition sideways. And of course I can mix all of those axes together so the numbers are worked through one axis to the next to the next and it passes the numbers along. So I can go up and all the way around. The stick is the next three axes, which are rotation axes, which is pitch, roll, and yaw. So I built a model so it positions the feet for pitch, roll, and yaw in terms of the XYZ engine. I think it's rather charming that it creaks so much, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's character, isn't it? The reasons you know? I need to. Uh, it's a combination of tightening and replacing yeah, pieces. Yeah. Right so you can see that it's quite, actually quite unstable, even though it looks dynamic when it's when it's doing these moves with four feet on the ground. Actually, walking is going to be a much harder problem. So uh, the aim will be to actually have diagonal feet coming off the ground, and then have an inertial measurement unit in that will measure how far it's tipping as it comes forward. Of course, it'll be like having the leg of the table. So it'll automatically transition sideways. So it sort of prowls onto each diagonal foot, so it pulls the plan, so it makes moves kind of like that. But of course the kinematic model is the foundation, so it's, now I can just transition in a straight line, it makes that home much easier. And to keep three feet on the ground flat to move back in a straight line, rather than having one foot come down and then tip the robot. Apart from any mechanical flex, of course. James, can I ask you, yeah. you do you still have the day job? Two days a week. Ah, I was going to say, because to do that in nine weeks with a full-time job yeah. would be just about impossible.